this time of year is a good time to get out and, of course, evaluate that crop, make sure we're getting pollinated and um, check your ear count, those things like that. And today, I want to talk just a little bit about the four R's and how we can continue to fine tune them. This crop has had a, a program of a broadcast in the fall, and then we no-tilled into the bean stubble and we wide drop the balance of the nitrogen um, at side dress time. And it actually looks pretty good. The uniformity is here. Um, we're pollinating well. We're pollinating butt to tip in about three days. Uh, so if we look at this field, we'd say, you know, everything's right on target from where we want to be. If you don't have a test strip in here to evaluate four R's, it's hard to realize that this corn is actually probably a week, um, seven, ten days behind where it should be in its maturity or where it could be in its maturity if we change the four R's. Anytime we stress a plant pre-tassel, we slow down the pollination window and we stress it post-tassel, we speed up uh, the grain fill and that can both cost us in bushels. And in this case, um, as we look at this plant, it's in good shape, but because we have a test strip out here of taking another step to the four R's where we add some of that phosphorus back into the corn planter to give this plant a quicker start, and we add in some nitrogen with that planter, in this case about 40 pounds, two by two, we can actually change the maturity of this plant. We can push it along further, get it to tassel quicker. Once we get it to tassel quicker, then we have more grain fill days uh, uh, to get this thing uh, deeper depth of kernel and hopefully a longer cob in that process.